Welcome everybody to today's seminar changes from ASCE 705 to ASCE 710. Um, this is really like a semester course. We'll be packing in a lot of information into one day. And what we have up here. The summary of what has happened is we have, or ASC 7 has chosen to replace the MCE maps we have used up to ASC 705 with the new MCE sub R maps. So wherever we used the MCE maps, we now have to use the new MCE sub R maps. And as the, the, the last thing Susan said, four changes have taken place to take us from there to here, from the MCE maps to the MCE sub R maps. Now, I, I thought before talking about changes, it might be worthwhile looking at what these MCE maps have been that we were using for quite a while. Uh, on the screen is the, uh, the, the map for S sub S that U.S. Geological Survey puts out that are uniform hazard maps. The probability of exceedance of the map values is 2% in 50 years, which is equivalent to a return period of 2,475 years. We normally talk about 2,500 year return period. So these are 2,500 year return period S sub S values. No matter where you are in the United States, the probability of exceedance of the map ground motion is the same. This is where we have been. Four changes from what we have been doing. I listed the changes in the table. But so this is the unified equation right here. And we're going to break it down. It is uh, a function of the design short period spectral response acceleration. This 0.4 S sub DS is a good estimate of the peak ground acceleration at the base of the structure. Dr. Ghosh mentioned that a little bit earlier. So this is the ground motion at the base of the structure. Then we have this amplification coefficient for flexible diaphragms, K sub A. Then we multiply by the importance factor of the structure. We do have this E added. I failed to mention that when we were talking about the importance factor table, but now we have a subscript. The 